Hi, Jasmine McCoy with HBCU Go. I'm interviewing Anthony White, owner of Wendell Seafood. I always wanted to be a chef when I was a kid. I mean, my mom were 14 and 15 years apart. So when my mom was 25 at work, I was at home having to fend for myself. I learned how to cook at a very, very young age. And that's where I got the bug for cooking. You know, I've always been one of those cooks that I would get in and just try it and I knew how to make it taste good. So I took my mom's Oprah stew recipe and toy with it and toy with it and toy with it. And then, you know, I kind of threw some crab and some seafood in it. Fast forward for my community college, I transferred to Clark Atlanta, mm -hmm. got into the world of TV. I used to travel with TNT and do Inside the NBA. And you know, I took the soup to the studio with me one night and brought it in for the crew. And Gary Payton and Chris Weber oh. got a hold of it and came down the hallway and was like, Ant, Ant, I need some more of that soup. And I'm looking at them like, well, it's nothing but some blue crab soup that I just kind of created. So they was tanned it up that night. So my wheels got to spinning and I started thinking like, well, damn, maybe I can do something with this. People would say, oh, why don't you get a food truck? But I'm like, well, I don't have nothing to sell. I got soup and salad. So people kept pressing and kept pressing. I had created this crab sandwich, and which everyone knows now is the crab milk. Mm -hmm. So I said, well, let me use that as my vehicle. So my buddy Grant Hill did a hit for me. Wow. Kenny Smith did a hit for me. Wow. My boy Jimmy Jackson did a hit for me. And Gary Payton, you know, mm -hmm. shout out to GP for, you know, pushing me in this direction. But from that point on, we just took off, but it was still up to me to do yeah. the footwork because basically you can use their image, but what are you going to do after yeah. that? So I have to ask, Anthony White, where do we get that Wendell's seafood? Okay, Wendell is my middle name. Okay. When I was a kid and I said, okay, when I own my restaurant, I'm going to call it Wendell's because this sounds classy. And we have to talk about the role HBCUs play in our development. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to ask you, you know, what role did Clark Atlanta play in your entrepreneurial adventures? You have to be able to problem solve. And Clark gave me those tools to do that. HBCUs are very, very important. The majority of everybody that goes to HBCUs look like us. Yeah. And Clark made me feel at home from my professors to the police officers to the administration. I had very, very fine tutelage from Clark Atlanta. I got inducted into Clark's Hall of Fame. And in my speech, I talked about how I showed up on the campus June 3rd, 1995, and I never went home. To be in the space that I'm in right now, I've come a long way. Never let anybody crush your dreams or discourage you from the direction that you're going in. So. Well, Anthony, it's been a pleasure. We appreciate you. And I've heard nothing but great things about you, but <laughs> I've also tried your food. So it's been fantastic and it was a pleasure. Thank you so much. Go CAU. <laughs>